James Gunn has truly done it again. The Suicide Squad is one of the best comic book movies ever created, and it is flat out incredible. <laughs> What's going on, buddy? Welcome back to a brand new movie review. Today, we're going to be discussing The Suicide Squad in non-spoiler fashion. So, if you haven't seen the film yet, you are completely safe to be here because I won't be talking about any of the big deaths or any of the other big moments, but I will be telling you why this film is truly incredible and one of my favorite comic book movies ever and also just one of the best experiences that I've had with a comic book movie in such a long time. And I think for me, the biggest thing that I must really say going for this is I saw all the hype. And this was one of my most anticipated movies of the year. I love James Gunn and what he was able to do with the Guardians of the Galaxy. And for me, when I saw the Guardians of the Galaxy, that reinvigorated my love for comics and especially even comic book movies in the genre as a whole because it was so fresh, it was so unique, and The Suicide Squad very much does that completely again, and my love has been reinvigorated to 10. Like, I need more James Gunn-infused comic book movies like this, and I just want more films like this. This is one of the best blockbusters that I've seen in such a long time. We're definitely going to talk about all of that once again in non-spoilers, but of course, if you guys are new here, though, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so we can keep talking movies over here on a daily basis. I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section about The Suicide Squad. Which member are you looking forward to seeing the most? And if there is another Suicide Squad movie, which member do you want to see join. I'm in the camp. I want a man bat or at least Mr. Freeze. I think that would be pretty damn cool. Of course, The Suicide Squad is written and directed by James Gunn and stars the likes of Margot Robbie, Idris Elba, John Cena, Joel Kinnaman, Viola Davis, Jai Courtney, and my god, so many more people. And of course, this movie is about the government sending the most dangerous supervillains in the world, Bloodsport, Peacemaker, King Shark, Harley Quinn, and many others to a remote and enemy-infused island. Armed with high-tech weapons, they trek through the dangerous jungle on a search and destroy mission with only Colonel Rick Flagg on the ground to make them behave. Once again, if you know the whole kind of topic of what the Suicide Squad is, it's the same way around. And you don't need to see that original movie, which I wasn't a big fan of at all. I was very disappointed in that. And, you know, growing up, I was a big fan of the Suicide Squad comics. I love these characters and I love the different iterations of supervillains that would join it at very many times. But one of the biggest elements to it all is it always just felt wacky and bonkers and very different to any other comic kind of running at the time and I feel like this movie really much infused that and I can't express this enough that this really much feels like a comic ripped right off the page and every single element of the characters is there the story even the way that they transition from act one to act two to all the other acts, they transition it in such a unique way that really much feels like a comic book, but not as a gimmick. It plays so well into the tone of it all, and at times it even made me feel like that I was watching an early 80s action film, but in all the best ways, like one of the best 80s action films that you can possibly imagine. Speaking about the action, my god, James Gunn nails it in here. There are multiple moments in here where my jaw had hit the floor. Whether it's the final battle action sequence that we've seen in the trailer, which is, trust me, awesome in every single one of its rights, or whether it's one of the best Harley Quinn moments that we've ever gotten. And again, you've seen little tidbits in the trailer, but my god... God, Harley Quinn has never been better when it comes to the action, and Margot Robbie just killed it. Before I get to Margot Robbie and the rest of the actors, the last action set piece I really want to talk about is the opening one. The beginning of this movie kicks off and it flies. It doesn't spend too much time on the exposition of what the Suicide Squad is, why they are going about this. It gets right into it, explains what it is, and sends you on the mission. And that is the best way you can do this because this movie flies by within its pacing. Not a single moment is held up for filler or any moment like that. All of it is to develop these characters the story and to entertain the audience. The audience that I was sitting with during this fan screen tonight was one of the best audiences that I've been around in such a long time. Honestly and arguably probably since Avengers Endgame. I understand movie theaters were closed for quite a while but there were a lot of other films mixed in between there but my audience for this movie was howling at all of the best jokes in here. That's the thing. I laughed my ass ass off throughout this entire movie and every character has a moment that either makes you laugh makes you smile or even feel very emotional to them very much the tagline of this film is don't get too attached and trust me don't get too attached because i got attached to many characters and almost every single one of them 
And you know, the ones that did end up biting the dust, I got really sad about because I was so emotionally invested in so many different elements inside of here. I think a lot of that goes to not just James Gunn's brilliant directing and one of the most creative things that he can possibly do, but also his writing so witty, sharp, and pulpy that it feels so unique and different than anything that we're seeing in the comic book genre right now. I think that's why the cast, you can feel the passion coming from them while playing inside this movie in all these different kind of unique roles. One of the things that I really love about this is how each and every member got a moment to shine in such a brilliant way that I sat there going, I love this. Like I mentioned, Harley Quinn is phenomenal in here. Margot Robbie absolutely nails it, and I think it's time to put her in that upper echelon. We have Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man, Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, Chris Evans as Captain America. You know, you have freaking Christopher Reeves as Superman, or whether it's Henry Cavill as Superman. There's so many iconic castings that I could never imagine someone playing those roles, or anyone else for that matter. I'm thinking it's time to say Margot Robbie is up there as Harley Quinn. I could not imagine anyone else playing her because she owns this role and she has become this character. Everyone else in this movie is honestly great. Idris Elba's Bloodsport was a big surprise. John Cena's Peacemaker, woohoo, pretty damn hilarious. Joel Kinnaman as Colonel Rick Flagg, who I did not like in the original movie. Kinnaman really comes to play in here as Rick Flagg, and I absolutely loved his character in here. Viola Davis is always great as well. And of course, Jai Courtney, Michael Rooker, Nathan Fillion, and even of course, Peter Capali as the thinker. Truthfully enough, my three favorite main characters in the entire film was Ratcatcher 2, Polka Dot Man, and King Shark. I've been pretty excited for King Shark for such a long time because Sylvester Stallone's owning the role. I've always loved the character in the comics. I just think he's so interesting, especially with what they're doing with him in the Harley Quinn show, and he does not disappoint in here. I sat there just laughing, smiling, and praying for dear God for him to survive the entire way through. I did that for almost every single one of the characters. I was so on edge the entire time wanting every single person to survive because again I got so attached. I cannot forget I need to mention David's Polka Dot Man and of course Daniela's Rat Catcher 2. Both characters I was interested in but I did not expect to walk out loving them. Both of them have very emotional cruxes to the entire story and as well some of the biggest moments when it comes to action set pieces. Once again every single person gets their moment to shine. It all just goes back to James Gunn's brilliant mind. No other director I think would have been able to bring a film like this to life. It is his unique style, and in every single way, it's one of the best things that I've seen in a while. Talk about blockbusters, this is what I expect from them. To be entertaining, to be jaw-dropping, to be absolutely just so much fun, and Suicide Squad does that and more. And don't even get me started about the cinematography and all of that nature, because it just all blends in and makes for one of the most memorable movies you'll see in 2021. Suicide Squad is everything I wanted and more. It's hilarious, it's entertaining, it's surprising emotional which seriously guys I did not expect at all for how emotional and heartfelt this movie was actually going to be even between all there it is brutal and bloody at the same time it is flat out one of the most r-rated films you will see in quite a while blood guts heads getting cut off arms getting ripped off it's all there. James Gunn not just crafted one of my favorite comic book movies once again, he created a flat out creative and wacky experience. Truthfully, every character stands out in so many amazing ways, but of course, Ratchcatcher 2 was incredible, Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn has never been better, King Shark was everything I needed, and Kinnaman blew it out of the water, and trust me, poke it out, man! Holy shit! Truthfully, it might be James Gunn's best movie yet, and I cannot wait to see this again. I already have another screening to go to another press screening next Tuesday, and then trust me, after that, I already have my tickets bought to see it opening weekend and I'm definitely going to be supporting this film in theaters and also watching it on HBO Max. I want more James Gunn DC films. I want another Suicide Squad movie directed by him. I just need more of this. It's unique. It's incredible and it's absolutely perfection. So all that said, I'm going to give the Suicide Squad an A+. And of course, it has two end credit scenes that you must not miss. But of course, guys, once again, thank you so much for watching this. Head on over to Sam Sean Films on how to see films early. And of course, it's a big thing to you and a big thing to my Patreon supporters. Because without you, I would not be able to do this. So of course, until next time, stay classy.